Back to business, the concluding part, Britain versus the rest of the world, the tech challenge. Can tiny Britain take on the rest of the world's big hitters? Remind me where we are. Well, let's take a look and all find out together. OK. Earlier in the show, John and I went head to head as we tested out in-car speakers, where my British brand, Meridian, took the lead, beating John's Bang & Olufsen's offering from abroad. So does that mean it's one for me? Yes. But in Challenge 2, the world leader in TVs, Samsung, outshone the British representative from North East England, Cello. Making the scores one all. Meaning both of us can still clean up with just one round to go, because our last face-off is between a pair of... Washing machines. John, say yes. hello to the Evac eCare 8 kilo cold fill. Guess where it was made? Somewhere in Britain. County Durham. Ooh. So the same place as the cello. So turns out the northeast of England you know, it happens to be a bit of a hotbed for tech manufacturing. Who knew? Cost? Just under £600. Mm, that makes it a perfect match for my Hoover. Hoover, of course, originated in the United States and now owned by a Hong Kong conglomerate. <laughs> Why are we outside? Honestly, there wasn't enough room in the kitchen. Well, the acid test of any washing machine is how well it cleans. Mm -hmm. So let's take these two for a spin. What are we going to wash? Those chef's whites, once we've messed them up a bit. Ooh, what fun. John, would you like a cup of tea? Tea, yes. Oh, whoops a daisy. I could pour mine straight from the pot. <gasps> we almost forgot the jam. Just going to spread that across. Mm. Lovely. Oh, nice jam. <laughs> With our whites suitably soiled, it's time to get our machines up and running. We're using the same detergent and selecting similar mixed cycles. One hour 35. Mine's one hour 57. Looks like I'll be finishing first then. So, as we have time to kill and are sitting in the English countryside, why not have an afternoon tea of our own and discuss the specs? Mm. Lovely. Oh, super. Oh. <laughs> I'm actually just going to use this as a weight. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> OK, probably not one of my best ideas. At least the biscuits taste good. That mm, is delightful. It is, it is. I like these, yes. What's your maximum load? Eight kilos, yours? Mine's nine kilos. Not much in it, then. It's gone. Cheesecake. Oh, how many programmes does yours have? Sixteen. Fifteen, so mm. yeah, almost the same. Do you have steam? Apparently it relaxes the folds. No, no. And before you ask, I don't have Wi-Fi connectivity either. Well, mine does, which means you can control the Hoover from your smartphone. If you ask me, unless this washing machine could remotely go and pick up my clothes from the basket and start washing them, does one really care? So, when it comes to specs, the Hoover has the edge. On to some scientific testing. A wobble test. This jelly will show how much vibration is made by our machines during their spin cycle, starting with John's washer from overseas. Okay. That's pretty rattly, John. It is. It is. It's doing a fair old bit of wobbling, but it's not. I don't think it's in any danger of moving the machine physically itself. But as the Hoover neared the end of its cycle, oh, down to four minutes. Its wobbleometer really started to go for it. <laughs> That's having a little jelly party. Sadly, my British-made e-bag was yet to start its spin cycle. <sighs> Just rinsing. Your cycle is nearly finished, yet you started with more time on the clock. That's because my machine can weigh its load and reduce time accordingly. With John's cycle done, my machine eventually kicked into action. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite a determined wobble, that is. I wouldn't say it's... It's any more violent or sudden than yours was, though. Wobble test complete and both machines done. Oh, <laughs> <way. laughs> The proof is in the pudding. Which machine cleaned best? Ooh. Oh, well, they've both done a really good job of getting the jam out. Yes, that's true. Some of the stains still look quite intense. There's a bit of something on both of them. Yeah, that's just more tea staining. There's not much in this, is there? So, both machines have similar cleaning capabilities. But with a quicker wash and a larger capacity, the Hoover wins this round, meaning the British tech falls at the last hurdle, losing 2-1 overall. 
Oh. Ends on a downer, Britain getting mm. beaten by the rest of the world. I know, it was a very close-run thing, though, between those washing machines, only just. Yeah, and shout-out to County Durham, because who knew they were such a hotbed of British tech manufacturing? Oh. And can I just say, John, there yes. is nobody else I would rather do a wobble test with. <laughs> oh, gosh, well, uh, the feeling's mutual. It was great fun. <laughs>